The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. How are you, children? Alhamdulillah. We are fine. We like to hear profit stories from you. Okay, mashallah. That's very good. The stories of the prophet are important for all Muslims. Inshallah, today we will start our first episode of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Are you ready for that? Yes. Okay, let's start. Bismillah. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's family tree started from Prophet Ibrahim through Ismail peace be upon him. The Prophet was born in the most respected tribe in Arabia, the Quraysh. His family name was Hashim, after his great grandfather. Hashim was very respected and generous. He used to take care of the people. Whoever came to Mecca for Hajj and distributes food to them, he was a businessman. For his business, during the winter he used to travel to Yemen, and during the summer he used to go to Syria. He had very good connections with these two countries. One summer in Medina, he married a woman in his business trip, and that woman got pregnant. After a few days, Hashim died in Gaza, Palestine. He got one son with that woman. Hashim's family did not know about his wife or his son. After eight years, Hashim's younger brother knew about his brother's wife and son. So he brought them to Mecca. Hashim's son was known as Abdul Muttalib. He was very smart. Handsome and generous, like his father. Later, Abdul Muttalib became the leader of Quraysh. Who is Abdul Muttalib? He was the great grandfather of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you remember about the miracle water of the Zamzam well, which was discovered during the time of Baby Ismail and his mother Hajar, peace be upon them? Yes. From that time, the people of the different tribes started to live in that area. After many, many years, the people started to worship idols as their god. So, as a punishment, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala decided to dry the miracle water of the Zamzam well. Day by day, it was covered with stone and sand. After some time. Everyone forgot about the Zamzam well. It was lost for many years. One day, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala showed the location of the Zamzam well to Abdul Muttalib in his dream. He started to dig that place with one of his sons. The miracle water of the Zamzam well was found. At that time, Abdul Muttalib promised Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that if he had ten sons. He would sacrifice one of his sons to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Finally, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala gave him ten sons. One day, Abdul Muttalib remembered his promise to sacrifice one of his sons, but he did not know which son to choose. So he drew a lottery. His youngest son, Abdullah, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's father. Was selected. Everyone loved Abdullah very much, so they offered one hundred camels to be sacrificed instead of Abdullah. Then Abdul Muttalib drew the lottery three times between Abdullah and the one hundred camels. Every time, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala selected the one hundred camels and saved Abdullah. Later, Abdullah got married to Amina, one of the most 
honorable woman in Quraysh. So, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam's father was Abdullah and his mother was Amina? Yes, mashallah. Amina became pregnant after a few days. During that time, Abdullah went to Syria for a business trip. However, about two months before Muhammad, peace be upon him, would be born, his father died at Medina on his return journey. At that time, he was only 25 years old. So, did Abdullah see his son Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at all? No, Abdullah could not see his son Muhammad, peace be upon him. But he knew his wife was pregnant. During that time, Mecca was very famous for the house of God and it became a very big business center. The governor of Yemen, Abraha, became very greedy to take control of Mecca. At one excuse, he was ready to attack Mecca with a very big army. With him, he had 60,000 soldiers and around 13 big elephants. Abraha used the biggest elephant for himself. The people of Mecca became scared. Abdul Muttalib had a very strong faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He knew that the house of Allah would be saved in a miracle way because they did not have enough strength to fight Abraha's army. He told everyone to take all of their family members and hide in the mountaintop. At that time, the prophet's mother, Amina, was eight months pregnant. Then, the miracle started to happen. When Abraha's army was close to Mecca, all the elephants just sat there. Nothing could move them. Suddenly, all the elephants started to run in the other direction. Meanwhile, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent lots of small birds with three stones. One was in their beak and the other two were in their claws. The birds dropped their stones on Abraha's men. The stones cut their body parts right away and killed them instantly. Their body became like smashed corn. It was a horrible moment for Abraha's army. Every one of them died by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save the Kaaba with that Big miracle! At that time, Rome and Persian empires were very powerful. That miracle was a big alarm for the whole world not to attack Mecca. It was a very big welcome sign for Prophet Muhammad wasallam coming to protect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's house and law. Around 50 days later, our beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born on the 20th or 22nd of April in the year of 571. It was a Monday morning and the Arabic date was the 9th of the Rabi'il Awal. But I thought our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born at the 12th Rabi'il Awal. Yes! Some scholars also think it was the 12th Rabi'il Awal in the year of 570. But most researchers consider 9th Rabi'il Awal in the year 571 to be the most accurate. But let me clear up one thing. There are two informations. Rabi'il Awal is the Arabic month from the Arabic calendar and the year 571 is from the Christian calendar. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Inshallah, for our next episode, we will discuss Muhammad, peace be upon him, child stories. In this series, we will discuss the detailed history of Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Inshallah, with your prayer and support, we would like to finish this great series. And it would be free to everybody anywhere. 
So you can join this great project by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter for the whole thing. It will be Sadaka Zarya for you, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you and your family in this world and hereafter. Ameen. The Prophet's Story